Right, the Tacoma City Council held a special work session today. They reviewed the $24 million budget gap they already faced, and now without this levy, they're looking specifically at the fire department and the help it may need in the future. When there's a fire, you want the fire department there fast, but there's now growing concerns over response times in Tacoma. Honestly, it's like one of the most biggest concerns because right now... Already asked to cut $4 million from its budget, Tacoma Fire is now running thin. I am all for Tacoma, the city of Tacoma, to give them whatever they need because they're there when we need them the most. But this time, it's voters who failed to approve money for the city of Tacoma and its fire department. Hopefully our taxes don't go up anymore because we're getting killed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so hopefully is it there's just something. Getting... Yeah, go ahead. A well, just some kind of solution. The solution right now calls for cutting 16 positions, rovers that are not assigned to a single fire station, but rove day to day to fill in gaps. City manager Elizabeth Paul said they may do without rovers before, but that created a lot of overtime. Interim fire chief uh, Siona Stallings Alai Lima explained even with the 16 rovers covering shifts, they are already three and a half million dollars over budget for overtime this year. I, I just want to be super clear to the public who's listening that we are not talking about a decrease in services. That that's correct. If it, a, a reduction in service does um, happen, it will be um, a tactical. Um, and planned um, so that we minimize the impact on the community. Just for just for the basic minimum of safety and some order of operation right. to just work the city to just like the bare minimum of standard of health. Now, the city council did also talk about mental health and making sure that their employees, not just in the fire department, but citywide, are cared for and that they are getting the services that they needed. The city council did not take any action today, but they may take action in a few weeks at a meeting scheduled for November 19th. Live in Tacoma, Denise Whitaker, Como News. Denise.